Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a couple of looks along with a full review and some swatches, not some swatches, all swatches, from the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien Palette. It is a little bit hard to show just because of how reflective the palette is, so if at any point you are blinded, I apologize. I'm trying to edit around that just so that you can actually see the shades. That being said, this is something that's fairly hard to present. <laughs> Uh, and that's one of the things that I meh, I feel meh about this palette about. But before we jump into my full review, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kind of palette reviews. And if you have it and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. If you want to jump around, I will again have um, timestamps in the description box and in the first comment just so that you can kind of jump around between if you want to see some of the looks. I did one pretty neutral look and then I did this very, very green look. I didn't want to do... I didn't want this video to be like 30 minutes long, so I just did those two looks. If you guys want to see more looks, I'd be willing to do that. Just let me know what you want to see down below. The palette retails for $52 on the website. It is vegan and cruelty free. I purchased it the day it released, like I said, and it did take a while for it to get processed and to ship for me, but I am 100% not holding that against the brand because that was right around the time of the California fires, and I know it's definitely more important for people to be safe and to get out than for them to stay at their jobs and like ship out makeup like not necessary at all so i'm just glad that you know the area was okay and they did send out like an email update saying you know your order has been delayed a little bit but we're processing it still so i did appreciate that my palette arrived in one piece. I will say Jeffree Star Cosmetics does an excellent job of actually packaging everything. There were like three layers of bubble wrap. It was a big box. I appreciate that they take all these precautions just to prevent any breakage along the way. You get a good mix of mattes and shimmers in this palette, though I did see some differences in the mattes in this palette versus some of his older palettes. So before I talk about that, let's take a look at all of these swatches. those are all the swatches it swatches beautifully something that I really noticed is that a lot of these mattes not necessarily the shimmers but a lot of the mattes are pressed a lot harder than they are in their older palettes like blood sugar like thirsty palettes especially this green shade right here abduction I had to dig in I used it as my transition shade today I had to dig into this in order to get product out onto my brush which is strange because I can kind of like swatch it and it comes off just fine but when you're going in with a brush they're very hard pressed the only shade that feels fairly similar to the way that they were pressed before is Titan which is kind of like this really light cream shade other than that all the mattes are really hard pressed that being said they're still very blendable they're still very pigmented and I do enjoy the color story of all of these this is definitely something that is unique it is different i like the way normally i don't like jumbled color stories but i really like the way that this is laid out i'm not a fan of the excuse you phone i'm not a fan of the packaging i'm gonna go ahead and say that i, I get what he was going for with but this is just bulky this is huge it isn't flat these they're not flat how am i how am i gonna store this like unless it's on display and I really so you open it up and there's like this little hinge right here I feel like this hinge is gonna snap or rip or something it feels very not what I would see in a $52 palette right so personally I would depot this I really do want to depot this whole palette because I love 
the colors and I love this color story and I could just have so much fun like rearranging these shades too so I I, I feel like I am going to depot this let me know down below if you want to see me film that because it is a bit of a unique palette to depot from but I think it would be fairly simple to do so if you guys want me to film that let me know down below because I could definitely film that process with all that out of the way let's go ahead and jump into the looks I was able to create with this palette So those were both of the looks that I was able to create. I went from something that was very simple, very work appropriate, nice and neutral to green alien goddess. And I gotta say, what drew me to this palette were the greens and the greens deliver. With the exception of the shade being a little bit hard pressed, I could still get pigment out of it. I could still work with it. It still blended 
really well. So I do really enjoy all the greens in this palette. The shimmers really, really surprised me. You can really see the ones I've used the most, Interstellar, right up here, UFO, and Moon Rock. Those shimmers blow my mind. They're very similar, if not the same, formula in my experience, to the Thirsty Palette shimmers, and this is such a better place for these shimmers. Like, like I said in my Thirsty Palette review, I felt like those shimmers were so out of place right there. They belong in this palette. They fit with the palette. They work with these other colors. That being said, if these colors reach out to you, if you're interested, I would highly recommend this palette. I love these shades. I love the way they perform, the way they blend. The only thing I really don't like about this palette is the packaging. So I am going to depot this and just, you know, get a little Z palette just to keep this palette in. But I definitely really really enjoy this palette. Another gripe of the packaging too, it's like if you've got this kind of meh hinge, why have a mirror up here? Like, cause am I gonna just like dangle and do my makeup like this? Like that makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.